When it comes to creating a healthy organization, the first and most important discipline is the building of a cohesive leadership team at the top. And that entails the overcoming of the five dysfunctions of a team, which I'm going to review very quickly here. The first dysfunction of a team is the absence of trust. Trust is critical on a team. It's the foundation of teamwork. And what it requires is that people get vulnerable with one another, that they're very open about who they are, what they're good at, what they're not good at, if they've made a mistake. Without trust, we cannot build a team. Specifically, because without trust, we can't overcome the second dysfunction, which is the fear of conflict. You see, conflict is not only okay on a team or even good, it's necessary and required. We have to engage in conflict. And when we have trust, conflict becomes nothing but the passionate pursuit of truth or the best possible answer. Why is conflict so important? Because without it, we're going to encounter the third dysfunction of a team, which is the lack of commitment. Teams that don't engage in open, honest conflict don't really commit to the decisions they make. They're passive about it. Commitment is when everybody truly buys in because they've weighed in on a decision and they realize that's what they're all going to stick with. Now, why is commitment so important? Because without it, we're going to encounter the fourth and most common dysfunction of a team, which is the inability of people to hold each other accountable. Accountability is so important on a team. When people have committed, they're going to have more courage to actually confront one another about shortcomings in their behavior and their performance. And why is that accountability so important? Because if people aren't holding each other accountable, they're going to encounter the next and final dysfunction, which is the inattention to results. Now, you might say, well, what are people paying attention to if not results? Well, maybe it's not the collective results of the team they're interested in, but just their own individual results, their budget, their department, their staff. If we're going to focus on the collective results of the team, we have to trust one another. We have to engage in healthy conflict. We have to commit to decisions, hold one another accountable for those, and achieve true collective results. Those are the five dysfunctions of a team.